I am holding in my hands the epic speed, the talk of the golf world these days, because it's that time of year again when I get the chance to connect with my friend Brian Minbiol from Callaway for my uh, club fitting and to really dive into what's new and awesome from the world of Callaway. It's good to see you again. Good to see you, my friend. And thanks to Larry Hamilton for the use of the golf studio here in Rochester Hills, where you do wintertime fittings. And uh, man, this is good stuff. I don't know where you want to start, but I want to walk through the fairway metals and get into the irons and we'll even end with putters. So might as well start with the big dog here. It's the, it is the talk of the golf world. It's been uh, an amazing change for us, Bill, as we have built on five, six years now of successive game improvement and performance driven attributes on the driver that with the return of the epic name comes a return in an increase in ball speed, an increase of aerodynamic efficiency, and our crossover on tour has been exceptional for this new driver. It's won a couple times already. Uh, I think the consumer is going to be very intrigued at the enhancements that we've made to the product. You know, as I get older, I need all the advantages I can get. We walk through the entire toolbox up here to, to help my game a little bit. But there is a fit in this for everybody, correct? Absolutely. It's not just the guys we see on TV. Uh, it is a three-headed monster. There are three different versions in the Epic 21 driver. The Speed, which is what you're holding. The Max, which is the most forgiving driver that we've ever built and there's a max ls which is a forgiving bombers paradise driver which is a little change in our offering the sub-zero version is no longer part of the deal but the sub-zero player would now make a choice between the speed which is one on tour and the ls which is the hook fighter so we've really modified the offerings to make sure that we can appease and appeal to the largest landscape of players but the foundation of what changes is right there in your hands and this is the new speed frame hmm. so you are very familiar with jailbreak which gave us an opportunity to reduce north and south expansion at impact as these drivers have evolved we are now starting to see that maybe there's some horizontal or east and west movement that we could also address and the speed frame allows us to do that by stabilizing the club in all four directions. I think it's allowed us to, again, directionalize a whole lot more speed towards the face of the golf club, which all golfers, regardless of your club head speed, can take advantage of. But part of the new construction, where when you see you know, the speed frame implemented into the golf club, you'll notice the toe of the golf club is now 100% carbon. So as I hand you that. Oh, well, there's nothing in my hand. There's, when it's... this weight goes away, it gives us an opportunity where we can use this saved weight in a discretionary manner, either with the incorporation of the sliding weight or a greater amount of weight towards the front of the speed driver. So our ability and our mastery of the use of carbon fiber technology in our equipment increases the opportunity for discretionary weight but we want to make sure that all the speed that is generated from that is directed to the face, which helps golfers of all talent level. You know, you're well accustomed to my swing by now, and I apologize <laughs> for the scouring that it produces as you try to sleep at night. Um, but we know that I need some help with speed because I'm slow and I'm, I'm getting slower as I get a little bit older. Sure. Um, and yet, last year, I fell completely in love with the Maverick. And after a few swings here, I'm. I cannot wait for green grass to appear where there's snow right now so I can get this out there uh, because it does have the boost that I need. The speed takes the, you were in the standard Maverick last year. This is that cyclone shape enhanced further. Uh, what we've done to this golf club is by moving a little bit more weight forward, mm -hmm. we're flattening the flight, we're increasing the amount of ball speed and we're reducing to some uh, extent the backspin. So you're a relatively straight ball hitter who we just want to make sure has that much more ammunition behind him. This gives us that opportunity for the player who uh, finds some bias or needs some directional challenging. The Max version of this golf club over the previous Maverick Max, we've increased MOI 10 to 15%. So mm -hmm. it is significantly more stable the ability to put this APW in our the adjustable perimeter weight allows us some enhanced shaping of that. If you want it all the way in the heel, we can create our most draw bias driver in the Epic line. 
if you're finding that you want some change in that natural curvature, this allows this weight movement. We've got about 17, 18 yards of shot shaping with the movement of that weight in the back of this golf club. Mm -hmm. So this is the most forgiving Epic driver we've ever come out with. The new more kind of the intro into the Epic drivers is this Max LS. As we are seeing these players go from trying to shape shots to hit it as far as they can from point A to point B, I'll kind of go through the Mickelson change from trying to shape it to just hitting it as far as he can. Bombs. This is an incredibly stable, low spinning golf club that's inherently a little bit more fade biased. So as that advanced player who fears a hook, he's got an opportunity to, to address that hook shape, but do it with a significantly more forgiving head. So a straight ball players club that's trying to increase the speed, a massively forgiving club that's geared for a guy who fades it, and for the bomber who fights a hook, the LS is what addresses that. I told you this off camera, that last year my favorite club in my bag was my Maverick 5 medal. Um, and we just went through hitting some balls in here with that again, and it's, it's longer and hotter than it was last year. I can't wait to get this thing into play. The fairway wood game is basically what got Callaway back on track years ago with the introduction of the X-Hot fairway wood. Mm -hmm. And the goal is to create as much driver-like production out of a significantly smaller head. Uh, we're seeing players utilize fairway woods very differently. It's not just off the fairway, it is off the tee. Where is your versatility come from? So this year, it is, it's a two-headed monster as opposed to a three-headed monster. The speed version is going to be your more traditional shaped, slightly deeper face. Target player here hits it equally off the tee as off the deck. So the versatility is there. So we saw a number of our tour players go into a standard Maverick golf club because they appreciated the deeper face. So very lively, very active, much more penetrating flight. Mm. So this will go from a 13.5 all the way up to um, a 7 wood and 21 degrees. So again, if you're a traditional flight player, the speed comes into play. Now, let me see if I can explain to our audience what you explained to me a few moments ago. Because I'm, I'm traditionally with a three metal, I'm a, I'm a low ball hitter. And if I just simply switch these two weights, put the heavier one in the back, I'm going to gain some trajectory. If I Absolutely. keep it in the front, I'm going to gain more chase. Is that, did I get one right, teacher? Yes, you did. Yes. It doesn't Absol happen very often. Absolutely works that way. So the max version of this, you'll see the face is shallower, mm -hmm. which you noticed. The shape pancakes out a little bit more, much more primarily used as a fairway wood. But the idea behind this golf club is, is with the two weights in the sole of the golf club, if you're looking for enhanced launch, the heavy weight in the back will allow this thing to get the ball up into the air. If you're already comfortable with the trajectory you're getting, especially with you hitting the five wood very comfortably, when I moved that weight forward, I added some ball speed, I took off some spin, and created a much more powerful fairway wood because you were able to comfortably get it launched. So this gives us some versatility in our most forgiving fairway wood that I don't believe that we've had previously. So for guys who are not favorites of hybrids. <laughs> I cannot hit a hybrid yeah. to save my life. So I don't know why. I've got the opportunity to replace long irons with fairway woods. You, you have a tendency to sweep through the shot. The best part is, is there are clubs that fit that swing tendency. You will see players on tour hitting fairway wood medals because they do not hit down on the ball successfully yeah. for a hybrid. Um, then there's people who hit hybrids like irons and are very successful with that. In other words, the correct way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Brian has developed over the years a number of euphemisms for covering up for my swing flaws. <laughs> I appreciate that. You ought to run for office. Let's go to some irons, shall we? Let's talk sure. Apex a little bit. I've been an Apex fan since the moment you put them in my hands, and I still am. Um, in my world, we're going to change the shaft up a little bit this year and go to the recoil. Mm -hmm. But this overall technology continues. If I, unless I have my facts wrong, this leads the industry, the Apex Iron. Scott Manwaring, who designs our irons, is under the most immense pressure because he's created what has effectively been perfection. The top of the mountain. And he just has to find a way to continue to prove it. The utilization of artificial intelligence helps. His, his craftsmanship is industry leading. There's five times more tungsten in this Apex 21 than there is in the Apex 19 that you use. Really? Tungsten gives us the opportunity to make consistency the hallmark of this golf club. 
We want the same amount of ball speed wherever you hit it on the face. We want the same amount of spin wherever you hit it on the face. So that whole ellipse of shots that we see as club fitters, we just want to move them north. I'm not saying that you're going to get all sorts of distance jades. Um, Apex is already the longest club in its, in its category. This gives us the opportunity to have much more reliable and predictable results as you hit it in different spots on the face. Now, I often get asked this question um, from the folks that follow what we do. They want to know what, what's going to be in my bag in, in 2021 from an iron standpoint. Where did we settle and what would be some of the specs that our viewers might be interested in for, for my old man swing? So you are definitely in standard apex. You launched it comfortably. Mm -hmm. um, you do fit at your height and arm length to comfortably being an inch longer. We are back into the recoil dart, which is the newest version of the recoil graphite shaft. You have a very smooth transition, so by having a lighter shaft in there, it enhances your speed and allows you to get the ball launched comfortably. Uh, at an inch long, we're just a little bit flat to make sure that that ball is consistently staying on line. Well, I'm, even though I'm seated about six inches below <laughs> Ryan on this stool, I am a little bit taller, so yes, that, that's are. why the inch over. Just so yes, you know. in fact, you are. Um, okay, we, we got to talk for a moment about what we're going to do once we get to the green. Um, I have fallen in love over the last few years with ChromeSoft. When the triple track innovation was added, it became an instant adopting thing for me. I absolutely fell in love with it. And, and now you've added the triple track visual aid to the back of the putter. And for me, this, this is what we're going to be using this year, the two ball triple track. Why, why is this such a game changer? And it's not just for amateurs like me, it's happening on tour. The beauty of this 10 franchise is it is far and away our most stable. It's the highest MOI, it's the greatest resistance of twisting. Two ball is basically what set alignment in place right. 20 some years ago. Right. So the opportunity to give you something that enhances your alignment, allows a tremendous amount of resistance to twisting, then you add the added feature of the triple track, which ensures that however your golf ball is pointed, that your putter is in line with it, we're trying to give multiple reasons that give you the opportunity to get it online and get it to the hole. If you're a degree off at eight feet, you won't touch the hole. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, if we can give you all sorts of reasons where if you come slightly off center, the putter head's very stable. If I give you an enhanced alignment idea with two ball and triple track, the likelihood of you getting that on your intended path line is much enhanced. Things like having stroke lab, putting more sensation of weight into the head, the micro hinge insert to ensure end over end roll. Uh, the amount of technology that goes into the flat stick equals what we are doing in terms of irons, in terms of drivers. Yeah. Um, and it is something that you utilize a lot. Can we start seeing some strokes saved on the greens? We're really excited about what this brings. Well, I have no doubt that we could spend the rest of the day talking through your knowledge of all of this stuff. And here's the cool thing. You all can go and check it out for yourself. Make sure you're fit. You're fitted. I don't know what the right verb is here, but make sure you you have your clubs customized or you don't. We'll just go off the rack. Uh, there is a big difference to optimizing. As Brian has been explaining, all of the different options for each of the different uh, types of clubs, that means that it's one of them for you better than another one for you. So once again, thank you for uh, launching 2021 and uh, making sure that I'm as well equipped as possibly can be, because from here, the rest of it is user error. And I, as much as I would like to say that's not a factor, it is. And remember this when you watch our television show. I have the best equipment in the world in my bag. And from there, we edit heavily. <laughs> See you later. Take good care.